On the screen right now is a falcon. Uh, I've done a lot of falcons in my day uh, on this YouTube channel. I have several of them. And coming up, I will show you a few of them. Um, those are um, acrylic paintings where this is more of an ink wash watercolor. It's a different kind of a, a process. And I think you'd enjoy watching that um, if you go back and look. The name of this video is called The Artist's Curse. But before I get to that, I want to talk about something stupid. <laughs> I got a comment on one of my videos just recently where a guy said, um, you have some skills, but your videos are boring. And uh, I, I should know better than to respond to a troll, I guess. Uh, but um, it's hard enough just getting these there. That's that's one of my, one of my uh, falcons. That's a falcon with a Mayan headdress. And that's a falcon with a bunch of spiky things on his head. But I do a lot of falcons, and that's my what my acrylic work looks like. But back to this little troll. Um, it's hard enough just getting this artwork on the page. I, I'm not a Larry the Cable guy, and you know I can't just crack a bunch of jokes. And I'm, I'm, I try to make it as entertaining as possible. And just a quick little factoid, Larry the Cable guy uh, grew up and was born about 90 miles from my house in Pawnee, Pawnee City, Nebraska. Um, and I've, I've been to his, his hometown. It looks like a small town in Nebraska. There's a street uh, in that town named after him. I've seen it. I think it's called the Larry the Cable Guy Street. And there's nothing spectacular about it, but I've seen it. But on, this, on the page right now, I am doing a falcon. And it's, it's fun. I enjoy doing birds because the feathers uh, have a lot, of, a lot of texture to them. I'm working with my HB as in boy pencil and my 2B pencil because I wanted some thick lines and I wanted some thin lines. I wanted to kind of mix things up. And I have this way of doing a uh, texture and the only way I can describe it is just to watch me do it. I, I, I can't even explain it. It just kind of flows out of my hand. Um, um, if, if you're trying to learn how to do this, the best way to learn how to do it, at least for me, is just to watch me do it. Because it's hard to explain exactly what's going through my brain, especially when I sped up this fast. But I, I'm just putting a lot of contour lines, and it's kind of funny. It just kind of flows into my brain. I see what I need to do, and I just do it. I, I, I know this. I need a line here. I need to squiggle here. I need to fill this in here, and, I, and it's just autopilot for me. So right now, I am just, uh, oh, there's my, my new logo. Hey, I'm going to start getting some merch, I think. Uh, some coffee mugs you know if i ever blow up and become a huge youtuber i'm gonna need some merch so i started off by making this little uh printout thing of my logo which is kind of funny because it's a cowboy and you think that a guy whose uh page is called um keith trim dragon art would have a dragon for a logo but i've done a lot of cartooning in my life and that particular picture was used for a, a t local town celebration here in nebraska it was a western theme and I had that thing on my computer forever. I thought, well, there's no use wasting it and letting it sit. So I decided to repurpose it. I mean, I am no cowboy boy by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, here, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I have got more and more subscribers coming all the time. And it is so it, it encourages me to do more. It really does. Uh, the more feedback I get, the more comments I get, the more I want to do this. You know, it's just basic psychology. So so feed my dopamine hit here and, and subscribe and, and tell me what you think. So now I'm going on my second layer of um, ink washes because I wanted to have two, at least two uh, layers uh, so it has more contrast. Uh, one layer works, but it almost looks washed out without the second one. So I'm putting on a, a simple little second layer of ink wash just to kind of darken the edges down and kind of define my feathers a little bit. Uh, feathers are fun to do. Um, th these birds have really interesting eyeballs and eyeballs it's one thing that I really, really work on, and I, it's kind of like my little trademark. Um, it just, you got to watch and see how I do them. Um, I'm outlining them, getting some more de definition. I'm defining out the feathers here, and uh, I hope I'm being entertaining. If I'm not, um, I, I got a little story to tell you here. Oh, I'm putting in the pupil here. Uh, so I'm going to tell you a little bit, a little story. This is entertaining, so it won't be so boring. Um, do you remember back when you were a kid, uh, like in fourth or fifth grade? Well, I do. I remember this time I was at this, I don't know what it was, it was some class we did, where I had to sit down at a table. Oh, I'm putting on my first layer of color here. It's, it's brown. I have a reference that I'm looking at, and I'm choosing my colors based on my reference. So I'm in this classroom. I'm probably, I don't know, 12 years old, maybe 10. And uh, they put a blindfold on me, and this girl was sitting in front of me at this table, and they had all this food sitting on the table. And for some reason, I remember they had tongue depressors. And sitting on the table, I noticed right away that there was some peanut butter in a cup. Now, here's a, here's a factoid you need to know. If you want to know about me, 
as a person. You need to know I cannot stand peanut butter. I can't even stand the smell of it. I'm not allergic to it. I just can't stand to look at it, to smell it, to taste it. And I remember, this must have been pretty significant in my life, I told him, telling this girl, do not give me the peanut butter. Well, you know, so guess what? I put my blindfold on and I don't